I've been up for three nights. So this is my first time doing a POV shot. Samantha and she has no name because John Paul has not given her a name yet. <laughs> I hope the uh, audio is good because again I haven't bought any anything for this uh, GoPro yet. So. A long time ago I had the idea of doing a POV style uh, reviews but there's been a few people who've already kind of beaten me to the punch so uh, I still kind of want to do this in the near future uh, let's see let's just see how today goes and uh, if there's any good you know content that I create then I'll uh, of course you know make some more for you guys this weekend I have uh, an up-and-coming a snowboarding trip so I'd like to get some content there uh, for traveling um, not sure if I'm gonna be bringing the Subaru most likely not so for those of you guys who are lowered uh, in a Subaru I highly recommend and advise you not to uh, drive in the snow with it um, last season I drove this car up to South Lake Tahoe and even though she performed very well um, being lowered is definitely very very sketch I highly recommend against it it's not a good it's not a good uh, experience overall um, at the end of the trip I had to take off the front bumper and pretty much just spray down all of the snow that kind of you know consolidated in the front half of my vehicle so if you're lowered uh, I highly recommend it even though our vehicles are very capable of going up into the mountains don't do it it's it's not a good and pleasant feeling definitely drive with a um, regular height vehicle or an SUV. So driving my uh, 2018 Subaru WRX, I call her Samantha, Sammy for short. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see down on the dash, but she's sitting at uh, 54,699 miles. Uh, she's pretty much close to her 60K milestone mark and I will be performing the uh, the 60k maintenance all by myself. It's actually very very easy and uh, I'll walk you guys through that when the time comes as well. And uh, as you can see there, just the fuel economy. Um, when I had my Impreza hatchback 2.0i years ago, that car had significantly lower fuel economy than the WRX and even though this car is modified now on the uh, Cobb OTS stage 2 plus map it still makes better fuel economy than that Impreza so long as I don't whop on this car I don't go wide open throttle and uh, I don't you know waste gas <laughs> but what do you guys think so far um, one of my biggest concern is getting a mic upgrade so we'll see as I review the the content and the, the footage that I'm recording right now hopefully the audio is good because the Subaru here is very uh, very raw you have a very raw experience there's just a lot of noise and whatnot so I'm just heading to the local park nearby my place and uh, I'm just gonna be doing some walk around and, and whatnot so, as I pull up here there's a bunch of people here I don't like this part that well but hey it is what it is <clears throat> so test run I'm just gonna do a mock uh, rundown of my POV <laughs> ownership of this you know 2018 super Dubra X. so let's see hey what's going on YouTube this is Tom here uh, today this will be my very first POV um, review of my own personal 2018 Subaru WRX now this vehicle is currently sitting at 54,700 miles 
and I've owned this vehicle for almost four years now. Uh, March 16th, 2022 will be the four year mark of my ownership of this vehicle. This vehicle has been paid off as of last year and uh, this vehicle is amazing. I love it. Uh, I've you know, taken this vehicle everywhere that I possibly can, uh, mostly to SoCal, but I've also been on a few trips up north to uh, Portland and to Seattle. So. Um, this vehicle is currently sta sitting at a stage 2 plus COP OTS map. I definitely have plans of modifying this vehicle even further in the future, but for the time being, um, I'm just going to do a little quick uh, walk around uh, and just show you guys what my car is with this POV style. Um, I hope you get that you guys like this, this content. So. So a lot of the aesthetic stuff for this vehicle, I like it very simple and clean. Um, I have the OEM style uh, STI front lip, side skirts, and I have the aero splash guards from the rear, custom license plate. I did the diode C light uh, a long time ago. Um, I did some rebadging with Subi Speed, you know, black gloss stuff from the front, the side. I have the uh, 18 by 95 SBC RPF ones. And then I bought some Ray uh, aftermarket lug nuts to go along with that. I got WRX uh, OEM, um, what the heck is it called? Tire caps, um, OLM carbon fiber, what the heck is it called? Door handle cover, OEM style, OE style, um, what should you call it? Roof racks, uh, side sills, Subi Speed V2 tail lights, more black stuff. Um, F1 brake light and this is pretty much it um, I have I have reached out to my good friend Romeo for uh, an inquiry on getting my vehicle wrapped I've mentioned this before in one of my previous videos that um, I wanted to wrap this vehicle uh, I love the blue the blue stands out a lot but I also want to change things up and so from the back half of this vehicle I kind of wanted to wrap it in black the same style here the matte black wrap it black and then have a little few yellow accents and fonts and such on the back to kind of make this car stand out just a little bit differently than the rest of us and um here in town a lot of people know me as already as the bird man of course i had this you know custom made from uh, uh romeo so yeah this is pretty much the gist of my car um wanted it a long time ago and now that i've had it for the four years of you know of my ownership i've had subaru reach out to me several times to try to purchase this vehicle from me and i don't really have any intentions of getting rid of the, the car uh, i've seen the i've seen the new vehicle the new 2022 subaru wrx and i love the interior but i'm not really sold on the exterior look and the horsepower bump it's really not I, in my opinion, worth the, the jump. And so I want to see what the STI has to offer. And I'll just show you guys the in engine bay of my car. I have a bunch of parent stuff. This is the Cobb Big SF intake, um, you know, Subi Speed, not Subi Speed, Subaru Ambassador and ownership badges and whatnot here and there. Uh, like I said, just pretty much just dress ups. A few months, I mean, sorry, a few years back, the OEM Subaru battery gave out. And uh, I kind of warranted it, but from my ownership of all the Subarus I've owned, I'm not sure if it's just my luck, but Subaru batteries tend to go out quite quickly, and especially for my ownership. So I decided to just bite the bullet and get myself the uh, the Optima yellow top battery. It was quite expensive. Oh shit, this is over. It was quite expensive. It was, it was a little bit over 200 bucks, but um, ever since I've gotten it, there has been no issues. Um, this is pretty much how it looks. If you guys ever get dress ups, this looks really cool, but uh, this is kind of a pain to uh, take on and off. This is an added step when you're trying to take off the front bumper to do stuff. So um, a few months ago, 
one of my uh, diode sea lights, the turn signals here, uh, the driver went out. So I had to contact uh, diode dynamic and uh, get a warranty and get a replacement. But it was kind of just a little extra step and a pain in the butt to take this off again and kind of, you know, just do the normal work that I'm so used to. So just a heads up for those of you guys who want to do that. Uh, I highly recommend the sides here uh forgot they're called i think side sills or garnish or whatever it's called but these you know definitely make a difference in terms of how the engine bay looks um i recommend if you're gonna perf if you're gonna modify later down the line don't get this section because this is going to be obsolete later down the line but this portion this will definitely be something that you could keep and continue to use so this is the front let's go to the rear show you what I have on my always on standby so because this is my daily you know I have a lot of utility based stuff I got my Subaru uh, picnic blanket for dates <laughs> I got my chair so if I ever go to a car meet I'm able to uh, you know sit down and pretty much my grocery getter stuff umbrella uh, cart handle cover and uh, of course microfiber towels and some uh, straps in here and whatnot. So that's pretty much it. I don't really care anything valuable on this vehicle because I'm kind of afraid of people breaking into it. This car gets a lot of attention, good, the good and the bad. So uh, yeah, this is kind of the gist of it. I feel like this vehicle has been talked about so much now, so and a lot of the builds that you see online are pretty much the same now at this point. This vehicle has been in production for, shoot, almost seven years. So this, still, this is still an amazing car. Uh, in terms of the YouTube scene and the YouTube platform, I don't think there's anything left for this car to do because, you know, you can do the whole full bolt-ons. There's lists and builds and everything, especially like good tuners like Ron Watson. Uh, you know, they've they've done all of the R&D and the work and so this car is you know you can get it definitely up to like 450 to 500 wheel horsepower easily before uh, things start breaking down and you know you want and then before you start venturing off into the one-off builds so yeah this is kind of it let's go back in the car start it up and go for a ride As I said before, that uh, this car doesn't, it's not that loud. So if you guys want to go um, <clears throat> the Cobb uh, OTS uh, Stage 2 Plus map, you could definitely get a lot of oomph and you won't really have to deal with, you know, getting attention from cops and whatnot. Um, this definitely, I highly recommend getting a Pro Tune if you have the money for it or if you're if you have all your parts gathered definitely go for the protein but for now because i've mentioned before in a bunch of my previous videos that i'm going to be inheriting some of my parts from my roommate and my best friend john paul there's no need for me to really search for for anything so i'm and also i'm very happy sitting at the cob um stage two plus map so i'm sure that many of you guys are just usual or casual drivers like I am that yeah, just kind of have want to have a little bit of fun but you know not go full you know ham into everything I definitely recommend just kind of sitting at the at the stage 2 plus uh, map and you'll be you'll be sitting fine so as you can see it it gets a little bit louder when you kind of go wide open throttle but overall, it's very, very tame. Let's go this way. I've also mentioned before that you know, in the four years of owning my uh, 2018 Subaru WRX, um, my, I guess my taste has changed quite a bit. Sometimes I wish that my car wouldn't be so rattly, like you wouldn't hear so much of the road noise. 
but I feel like it varies day to day. Some days I'm just a little bit more grouchier than the next, and so uh, I guess that the day that I was kind of complaining about <clears throat> the quality of my car, I was I was having a, <laughs> a bad day. Um, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. The, the best thing about this car is the raw experience. Um, but, like I said, the caveat to the raw experience is that it feels kind of like this vehicle is very, very cheap because everything is kind of all just plastic, everything kind of rattles and um, you feel like, as an owner, it feels like you spend a lot of your money more on the name and the prestige of this car and, you know, the, the engine and the all-wheel drive and whatnot. But, uh, that's pretty much the gist of what you're spending your money on in terms of the interior It's pretty good in comparison to a lot of other vehicles on the market. It's a little bit better, but not by much and so The main appeal of this vehicle, you know has always been the rally heritage and the the affordable all-wheel drive different classification and how easy it is to modify this vehicle. So um, take it as you may um, if you're interested in this vehicle or if you already own this vehicle and you just like to complain as much as I do. You know, we as Subaru owners, we, we just love to complain. That's something that I've seen again and again. And you know, I, I try my best not to complain so much because I'm also a brand ambassador. I love the brand, I promote it and I support it as best as I can, but you know, I'm only human too. There are times where I kind of kind of just want to bitch and complain about everything. So all right, so fourth gear going at uh, 50, 60-ish downshift. I should get a sticker that says Asian driver, no survivor. That'll scare people off. <laughs> All right guys, so this concludes my very first time doing this POV style uh, video uh, series. I hope you guys like it. I hope this, this footage came out really good and I hope that this camera is pretty good too. So if you guys like this, uh, let me know. Uh, give it a thumbs up and comment down below if there's anything that you guys want me to work on. Uh, like I said, I'm always open to, to learning and growing, so definitely your feedback will be greatly appreciated. So with that, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.